<laughs> Am I making this up? It's all true. People, people want to eat not a simple food, and they don't care if the food tastes good or what it looks like or how much it costs. They don't care about any. Why do you think? Here's the best example. There's a lot of people looking at me cynically like they think I'm exaggerating. No. Let me ask you this question. Here's the, the best example. Sushi. Why do people love sushi? <laughs> I ask you a better question. How come nobody ate raw fish before it became sushi? <laughs> sushi became a trendy thing. People love to say, oh, we're having sushi. We're going for sushi. Before it was called sushi. Did you eat raw fish? Somebody said to you, here's a piece of fish. I forgot to cook it. <laughs> raw fish before. <laughs> People say, oh, it's so interesting because they think it was developed by the Japanese. Had nothing to do with the Japanese. It was created by two Jews. Two Jews were sitting around and they were wondering, how can we open a restaurant without a kitchen? Every year and a half, a new fish becomes a hit. You remember, the, you remember when Cajun was a big hit? The biggest hit was Cajun. What is Cajun? Point fish. It's the opposite of sushi. Now they, now they got crazy about point fish. Before it was called Cajun. Did anybody eat point fish? I said to you, here's a piece of fish. I point it. You want it? <laughs> you say, schmuck, it's point fish. It's not point fish. It's called Cajun. Oh. <laughs> How come nobody eats a point bagel? I'll tell you why. Because it's not called Cajun. If you show somebody a bagel and say, what kind of a moron are you? Yo, but this is a Cajun bagel. Oh. You, you could burn a guy's whole house down, tell him it's a Cajun fire. No kidding, fantastic. My mother couldn't cook. She couldn't cook, nothing to be ashamed of. All her life she made Cajun food. I never know. It. 